I am Addison Price, and I am Miss Oklahoma. I want to be Miss America so I can impact people and change lives. I believe that this organization is all about igniting others to find their purpose and find their passion. It's never been more evident than it is now with the changes for 2.0. I just recently came out with a video that is called I Am 2.0. I interviewed different candidates from my Miss Oklahoma class this past year. And one example of how the changes are affecting candidates is that we had a girl compete who had only ever competed in rodeos. She was told that she was too fat to ever compete in a competition and that she would never be able to go to Miss Oklahoma. That's what lit her fire to join in and start competing. And whenever she came to Miss Oklahoma, she had said that if she could jump off of a horse and tie a goat, then she could compete at Miss Oklahoma. And that's exa exactly what she did. The state fell in love with her, and we're all supporting her now. That just shows how the change in the way that we're viewing women today is making an impact all across not only my state, but across the nation. My personal Miss America would be Jill Donovan. She is not only a published author, but she is the CEO and founder of Rustic Cuff. I am from Edmond, and my hometown is has been the biggest support system for me. I know that anybody I turn to is a friend and a neighbor and somebody who will lend a helping hand wherever I need one and wherever whatever will help me get to the next place and whatever will help me accomplish my dreams, there's always somebody in Edmond that's there to help me get there. My social impact initiative is the dyslexic difference. I originally was inspired by my older brother, Andrew. He struggles with a disability and he his whole life had had obstacles that he faced. And for the longest time, I didn't know that I was struggling with a disability as well. I was diagnosed with dyslexia at the age of seven and I like to call it my invisible disability. For the longest time, my parents didn't tell me I had dyslexia because they never wanted to enable my label. They never wanted me to think that I wasn't enough. Little did they know that sitting in class as a seven-year-old trying to learn how to read and not being able to, I didn't feel as smart as my friends, I didn't feel good enough, and there were so many internal struggles that I faced. So now I hope to speak to a large group of audience, or a large variety of audiences about making a difference and how everybody has something that makes them different and, diff and unique. And different isn't bad, it's just different. There is not a whole lot that people don't know about me. And I'll be honest, I am a person that cannot tell a lie. So whenever I say that people know everything about me, they know everything about me. There's nothing that you could ask me that I could tell you a lie about. And a fun fact is I've never told a lie to any member in my family, not even a little white one. I can't get away with it because there's too many telltale signs. I am way too much of an honest person. Instead of honest Abe, I'm honest Ad. So that's me. <laughs>